Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing a review on two things. Um, the L'Oreal Paris Mega Smooth Supple Makeup with Makeup and so what it looks like, I'm probably sure you heard of it. Um, it's new. Got this for eight dollars, so it's pretty amazing. Um, my uh, my skin tone is in five twelve classic classic ivory. Um, it was broke when I got it, so let me just say that. Don't be surprised. I was gonna get the L'Oreal um no the um. Maybelline Dream Mousse, not Mousse, Maybelline Dream Bounty Blush. So, I'm doing a review on this. And it's pretty big. So, a little bit. And I'm also doing a review on this mascara, CoverGirl Mascara. They said buy, buy one and get half off, so I got a little nail polish, but I'm not going to show you that. CoverGirl. So, anyway, CoverGirl. Um, Exec I light. O N G I oh my god. Best mascara ever. It, like it goes with your eye color and I got black sapphire because I'm in blue. Obviously. Um I don't have this on, so sorry. But what it does, it gives it a little I love the applicator. Like but um it has some that's fire color, kind of color. It's not fully black. And it's my favorite mascara. OMG, it's like a bluey kind of color. Kind of. What is the color? So, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to start doing the review first. Again, I'm doing the L'Oreal Paris that kind of review first. So, the consistency is bouncy. It's literally bouncy. Like, it's bouncing around. It's like jello. You know, when you put it on your face, it's a little soft. But it's like jello, literally. That's like, no one comes on your hands, so you gotta, like, scoop it out. But it's like jelly. Like, um, comes on. Oh, I just wasted it on my bed. So, like, yeah. That's a, um, so, um, um, I will smell my finger that one inch. And there's like a red spot on my finger I hate. And I'm going to try to cover that up. Oh, gee, you can't see it anymore. Can't see it. But it's like mousse. And then once you're done putting it on, it's like powder. Like, you get it? It's like, huh, it's mousse, but it turns into powder. Um. So you can apply this with a stippling brush, with a regular brush. I'll show you my regular brush that I apply it. Now, um, I never really have my own of this kind of, of this, but I use my mom because she has two. She loves them. So get your butt up, go to Walgreens, and because they're on sale. Yeah. So anyway, you can apply this with a foundation brush, um, a regular brush like this, a regular fluffy brush, um, or a stippling sip brush. I'll just try to apply this. So, I'm going to start off by licking the brush because, I'm just joking, I'm not licking it. I'm not looking at any I'm just shaking about like that. And 
that down there. So the consistency is really, really nice. Um, apply this with any brush that you want. But to warn you, when you first get it, don't do that because some drops. Um, mine broke. Mine was broken. All of them are like that. They turn out um like that. So mine was broke when I got it. But um, and just you know, I pat it down. So that's my brush. So um, next. That's it for this review. Do you want me to do, um, like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Um, what you know? Um, again, it's. Really nice consistency. Um,. So it's bouncy, like the green bouncy blush. Maybe the green bouncy blush. So, but some does get on the lid. So it's you see some on the lid at first, like that some on the lid. No consistency. I love the consistency. It's like so soft. So anyway, um, yeah, you do not have to set it with, with the press powder or anything. Um, again, I'm in 512. Okay, the next review is the cover girl eye light. Again, I have blue eyes, so this will be best for blue eyes person. Blue eyes. I have some of it on, but anyway, um, this is sapphire color, and it's waterproof, so it has some sparkles in it, and it just can't see. So, that, that's fire, like, look, um, and the consistency of this is, like, gel, like, a lot to gel, the applicator. Sorry, I'm taking that one. The applicator is amazing. Best, not amazing, because the one that I have right now is actually better. And that's, um, my Wet n' Wild. So these I'm stuck between my Wet n' Wild and Covergirl. Um, but Wet n' Wild is. I love CoverGirl. Like, this is my all type of a mascara, but the CoverGirl applicator is amazing. Like, it gets so much product on, it's actually lumpy. Not lumpy, but it's amazing. I just, I just love it. But, again, oh, also with the Laura Paris, you can also apply this with um, a little eyeshadow brush. I'm going to show you what you Okay, what product on the nose? 
that I, I don't really prefer with an eyeshadow brush because it doesn't blend well. But anyway, back to the mascara. Um, I don't. Um, I got the waterproof one because me personally, I always go in water, and waterproof is on longer. Um, because it actually does because you're in water, it's on. So why not? I don't like about. Um, packaging. So, so, sorry. amazing. I love the packaging. It's so long. It will fit my purse whenever I need to go somewhere or something. So, this is going to be like, um, an on-the-go little mascara thing type of thing. On the go, maybe my little one. But my wet one, I'm stuck between because these are so nice products and stuff like that. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah. Um again the consistency is jelly, like a gel eyeliner. Like what you get. Um yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and bloopers, I'm just kidding, this is a blooper, blooper, that's a blooper, that's a blooper, that's a blooper, anyway, um, If you enjoyed this video and please comment, rate, subscribe, um, please message me and give me a video response or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and bye. Peace out, homies.